as Seri combines with Morton and he spots Philogene again. Philogene's into the penalty area and it's a curving effort. The wind really grabbed a hold of it as well from this vantage point. It looked like it was going viciously wide at first, but the wind took a hold of it and drew it back towards Begovic's far post. Link-up play between Powell and Chair into the area. Oh, what a chance that goes wide. There was a skimming header six yards out by Hull City. And Lyndon Dykes, I think it is, right at the back post from the centre circle. He plays towards Morton. He's got De Lapp and Traore has options around him. So too Christie, that's who he finds. Christie switches it over towards Philogene again on the corner of the penalty area. Tees up Louis Coyle. Louis Coyle with the shot this time. He was much closer than Philogene's been. It was below the crossbar, but wide of the far post from the captain. Everything Hull City are throwing at QPR is coming from this left-hand side. And Louis Coyle, whose next goal would be his fifth in his career. And that's poor from Jacob Greaves. And suddenly, Lyndon Dykes is on his way into the penalty area, pulls his shot the left of the goal. And just glaring up at the... Supporters away to my right-hand side. You can see the arms folded, a bit of head-shaking going on because Jacob Greaves, who's normally watertight as a defender, lets the ball run away from him from the throw and he wasn't switched on. As QPR try and work their way out of the back. And Dazelle is pickpocketed by Philogene. Twine now for De Lapp. He can turn and he'll strike a goal and Begovic momentarily lost control from two hands to at least one hand, but he didn't let the ball squirm away from him in the six-yard box. Now for Christie, Morton has spotted the run of De Lapp. De Lapp's timed his run nicely in the right wing position. Clark Salter standing his ground. De Lapp across the penalty area. Reggie Cannon can't clear it. Philogene will bring the ball to a stop in the box on the left. Back now to Coyle. Hoists it to the back pass. De Lapp can't leap high enough. And it goes out and behind for a goal kick. Philogene in field towards Seri. De Lapp to his right. Neat turn. Neat footwork. De Lapp. He's going to blast one from the edges. Just to let you know, Ipswich are 1-0 up away at Middlesbrough as De Lapp picks up the ball from Greaves and he's got that opportunity to travel against the defence. Pushes it wide to Traore, there's four waiting in amber shirts. Morton's one of them, shot is blocked from 10 yards out. And it was in the perfect position, it was a very similar opportunity to the one against Swansea, which he managed to score. Going around the grounds in the uh, first half, there's not many goals about at all. Huddersfield lead at home against... Bristol City, Leicester 1-0 up against Plymouth, Ipswich winning away at Middlesbrough. Everywhere else in the three o'clock kickoff stands at 0-0 at present as Christie wins the ball back for the Tigers, tries to clear away. Sanfield though in the pocket of midfield where the ball was travelling. So QPR with one last chance before half time and it's going to go in as well. Chris Willock who's had very little game time this season and loves scoring against Hull City, has netted on the stroke of half-time. Begovic now down at the end where the Hull City fans are. The Tigers attacking towards them in this second half. Christie wins it high, 20 yards out, fancies it. And skews it horribly away from goal. And that was the norm in the first half for the Tigers as Twine is holding on to it for a, a long time. Now through to De Lapp. he's done enough to push it to De Lapp. De Lapp into the area, forces a strong save from Begovic. He's left flat on his back, Liam De Lapp, feeling that he couldn't do much more. He had to outmuscle a pair of players in blue and white as well as a free kick goes Hull City's way, which they get on with immediately. It's now across to Sean McLaughlin. Here's Christie. Christie spotting a through ball for Regan Slater. He's going to try and pull it across, and Twine is waiting. Can he shoot? He will. It's safe by Begovic. He's done enough to steer it away from goal. It's not gone out of play. They will clear with a long ball, and John Michael Seri doesn't have as much pace in the legs as those around him. He's able to take the ball back to Ryan Allsop. Allsop has given the ball away. It was charged down by Sinclair Armstrong. This is chair, and it's 2-0 to QPR. Are they out 
of sight. Two goals. There's not much time left for Hull City to clamber out of this mess. Hull City. Their task has doubled just for a simple point as the ball is swung in. Regan Slater arriving at the back post for the header, but wider the target. Is panning out at the moment. Connolly has nipped in and won the ball in midfield when QPR looked comfortable. And Connolly shooting at goal. Oh, wide of the target. It bounced left of goal. Took it on from 18 yards. Aaron Connolly, three goals from the bench. Nearly had a fourth. Vaughan will now head into the penalty area on the left hand side. He pulls it back towards Louis Coyle. Across now to McLaughlin. McLaughlin, 20 yards out. He will pull the trigger and he's forced a save too from Begovic. And City will not go down without a fight. As Begovic is forced to dive across to his right-hand side. 